welcome Dexter and Kaylee. Uh, congratulations uh, on your skills assessment, mate. So you're moving to Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, let's let's learn a little bit about you guys. Uh, and firstly, why Australia? The weather, definitely. Yeah, we've spent time in Australia. We lived there for a year, about a year ago, actually. Yeah. Um, where about where you, mate? We, we were in Fremantle on the west side. Uh, we fell in love with the place. We fell in love with the lifestyle, um, the people, the friendliness. It just ticked all the boxes. The ocean. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everything. And where about to you guys from in the UK? We're from Norwich. Norwich, and how far is that from London? Two and a half hours away. Two and a half hours. Towards the coast or away from the coast? Uh, north towards the coast. Yeah. Yeah. North towards the coast. Yeah. Excellent. So you still get to see um, the ocean and all that where you guys live now. Not like Australia. Not like Australia. No, yeah, no, no, like Fremantle. No. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Show you how much I know about uh, the UK. Yeah. The Indian Ocean's a bit different. Yeah. yeah. A little bit different. <laughs> so okay, so um, you're going to head back to Fremantle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we love the place. Fantastic. And when I think when I first met you guys, I met you guys on Skype. You were in New Zealand at the time. Yeah, we were. Yes, we were. So you did the working holiday visa in Australia. Yeah. So and then from there you went to New Zealand. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We came back for three months and we went to New Zealand. Um, we always we always knew we wanted to move to Australia. We wanted to give New Zealand a go. Um, it's just uh, just timing really. We're just uh, going mm -hmm. through the visa application and uh, okay, going through the stuff. And was um, was is there much difference between Australia and New Zealand in your in your minds? Yeah, two completely different places, yeah. and you know we like them equally. We yeah. we like, we love New Zealand for different reasons. But well, I think we prefer the climate in Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I mean, and I think eventually, you know, once you've once you've lived in Australia a certain amount of time, you then have the right to go and live in New Zealand. So, you know, you're you know, killing two birds with one stone. Yeah, well done, well done. Yeah, I'm sure there's, sure there's pathways out there, which is good. Okay, who's doing the visa for you guys? I am. You're doing the visa? I am. Okay, I'm well, attempting it. You're attempting the visa. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Why not? So, okay, let's run through the process then, Kaylee. That's, um, it's interesting. Okay. Uh, so, you're... Uh, you've been uh, helping uh, Dex out with now with his uh, fitter general, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So his qualification and all yeah. that. So he's just come in and done his Skype, and we'll talk a bit about this. So why, um, uh, you know, if you, like, I mean, it's a pretty big decision, I guess, to make to think you do the visa yourself. It's, yeah, um, I mean, I've done a lot of research. I've looked at um, the process online, okay. and I think I can do it. So. Yep. Um, I've got the expression of interest ready to submit once we get the results. Okay, wow. So, um, and then hopefully wait for the invitation to apply and take it from there. Well done. And uh, looking back at from where you are now, I mean, you haven't started lodging with the visa, is it something that you'd warn other people off it's not worth it or you think that it actually can be done quite easy? I think if you spend a lot of time reading up on it, I think you can do it yourself. You just okay. need to be aware. I, I know it's a long sort of process yep. it can be complicated but I'm going to give it a good go. I think um, you've done well uh, Dex here mate. I don't think I could be lodging the visa myself. I'd probably <laughs> be a bit anxious uh, but it's good to see you, uh, yeah definitely good to see you giving it a go. Uh, and let's talk about the skills assessment. Uh, how did you find the, the gathering of evidence guys? How was that? Um, to be fair, it was, it, because we were in New Zealand at the time, um, it was split between me, Katie and my mother because I work for a family business. Yeah. Um, and so between us, or between Katie and my mother, um, they, <laughs> kind of gravy, yeah, they kind of you know, got all the necessary documents into place, so I kind of stepped in where I had to, yeah. you know, and uh, you know, doing my, my, um, my skills assessment applications. Mm. And, uh, yeah. But it wasn't yeah. too difficult. There were lots of documents that needed um, certifying, but mm -hmm. I th it was straightforward. It's just a bit Brilliant. of organisation, yeah. isn't it, yeah. you know, and, and bringing things together. Yeah. Okay, and you've just come out of the uh, the technical Skype interview. Yes, um, yep. you don't mind telling uh, people how how that was. And you mentioned before, uh, Dexter, that you that you studied uh, a little bit before. No, well, I was quite I was quite anxious because obviously you, you know you, I went to college probably about eight years ago now, and and uh, you learn a lot of technical information. You then kind of go into your career, and you only really remember the things that you need to know. Um, and I was quite anxious to think that I maybe asked questions that I didn't quite remember. So. Yep. I did try to, you know, look back at, you know, certain things that I maybe asked about, um, but you know, it was, it was absolutely fine. I mean, it, I, I literally just talked about my job on a day-to-day -day basis and, and, and what I do and, and the technical information that I use regularly. So it wasn't, there was no questions to catch me out. You know, I, it was just literally, it flowed very well. Okay, and um, you know, go go back a step. So you arrived at the down on the centre this morning. Uh, yep. You guys, you've stayed uh, quite close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
living in Norwich, two and a half hours away, which we yep. know now. Uh, so you stayed, uh, you stayed close. So you, when you first met the, assess um, the assessor, he was, uh, he was welcoming. Yep. Um, yep. He was very, yeah, he's a lovely guy actually. He's, he was from, uh, from the same place as where I'm from, oh, from Norfolk. Helps. So yeah. yeah, we kind of bonded straight away, but he's just very easy to talk to. I mean, if anyone's ever talked to an Australian, they're very easy to communicate with and talk to, and uh, you know, this conversation just flows. It's like, you know, like having yep. a conversation with someone you've known for years. Well, that's how we got, um, you know, love us, us Aussies think of the English as well, to Aww. be honest. Um, okay, cool. So you gathered the information, you went through, you've done the, uh, well, it looks like you're um, moving for a positive outcome for mm -hmm. the skills assessment, which yep. is good. Obviously, your assessor's going to uh, make some more uh, paperwork, uh, then it's going to go through compliance and all that from there. And so you're probably about a week uh, to two weeks away from knowing the full result. Yep. So what about, is, is, is there nerves creeping in now? You mentioned that you're going to be doing, you're lodging your expression of interest, uh, and you've also mentioned that you're going to be doing lodging the visa yourself, Kaylee. Are you, are you nervous about the next step, guys? You, is, is it, uh, you've got family over here, are you a bit anxious about saying goodbye to <laughs> mum and, you know, dad and all no, that? No, no, no way. No, Austra no. <laughs> Australia is 17 hours on a plane. It's not far at all. It's you only know, a day away. I, it's That's a day how away. I look at it. It's okay. just a day my, away. My sister lives in New Zealand. You know, my, my brother's going to be moving there. My parents, they can travel over there if they like. Kaylee's family can travel over there. Okay. It's like the, the world's such a small place. You know, you could Skype, you FaceTime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I FaceTime my nanny every week when I was in Australia, and you know, you, you end up speaking to your family a lot more than you, you, you do when you're there. That's you a know. really you good make point. The effort. <laughs> That's a really, really yeah. good point. And your quality time. Yeah, I yeah, going yeah. And visit the yeah. Olds, it's I mean, the plane flights, you know, 17 hours has really brought that time down. So you can be back in England within a day. Yeah. It's, yeah. To me, that's not. That's, just uh, taking the kids on the plane is, a, is another yeah. step, but maybe there'll be time for that. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> What else makes you a bit nervous about the move? We spoke about family. Uh, what about financially and everything? Are you guys worried about financially? No, no, no. definitely not financially. No, um, we're a lot better no. off in Australia than we are okay. here. Yeah, yeah. And we how have, have you worked that? If you don't mind me asking, what's how have you worked that out? How um, have you come to that? From well, experience, when we spent the last year living over there. Yeah, we live okay. in Australia. We 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 used to eat out twice a week. Mm -hmm. We used to. Um, I went to Japan, yeah. Bali. You know, traveling South Australia, always doing things. Um, I went traveling for three months together didn't we yeah we still came home we came with, home with, with money so, with money so you, you, you just with, so. The, the account for us just builds and builds yeah. on itself and just you know more you know more, more financial gain the better quality of life you can have excellent so. excellent so let's talk about um better quality of life so what the three australian lifestyles that you guys would like to adapt into your everyday lifestyle you guys thought about that yeah so definitely uh, more outdoor living mm -hmm. barbecues on the beach and yep. yeah going yeah well, I've grown my hair and I'm wearing yeah. an Australian hat, so yeah, I'm, I'm slowly moving into an Australian. Um, <laughs> yeah. But no, it's just um, it's the friendliness I like mm. about Australia, and, and um, it's a lot of people that I knew over there were very, very well travelled, and they, they, you know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of people from around the world, and it just seems to work in certain areas. You know, mm. every, every I have friends from you know Holland, friends from France. You know, all different religious backgrounds. Everything just came together, and yeah, I just, yeah, I, it was great. It was great to have so many friends from so many yeah. different places with so many different stories. Mm -hmm. um, and there's just more things to do out there. At the weekend, we'll go around vineyards and breweries yeah. and things. We can't do that here. Excellent, excellent. It it's, um, sounds like you guys have it all planned. Now, Dexter, your work, uh, you're a fitter, fitter general. Yes, the I school am, yeah. assessment you've gone through. Yeah. Uh, what sort of uh, work you're doing and can that work be adapted uh, into your chain transition over to Australia? Yes, of course. Um, well, I am a mechanical fitter by trade. Obviously, them skills are transferable um, to lots of different industries. I work in the grain industry in particular over here. And Australia's grain industry, I think, is like the fifth or sixth biggest in the world, so there's obviously a demand there for that. Um, uh, so, yeah, I think uh, I, th I think um, I won't have any problems finding work. Um, Excellent. You know, them skills are transferable, so I can go somewhere else if I want. You know? Well done, well done. Well, guys, just want to um, thank you for making this uh, YouTube video. Uh, it's, I think it's important that we can see you know, that we can give advice to other people that is generally just thinking about making the move. Yeah. Um, so when you get to Australia, please uh, don't be strangers at all. Let no, us know how you get on. Uh, love to have like a little maybe a follow up. Mm, you know, definitely. but I wish you all the best. Thank you. Um, well done for doing the VZ stuff. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Cheers. mate. Thank you. And thank you very much for the uh, the wine and yeah, the gifts that you gave lovely. us. Yeah, appreciate it. Oh, that. no worries. No worries. A lovely uh, little bottle of wine yeah. here. From this one's. Um, Where's this one from? It is uh, one of Australia, it's from Victoria.
So okay. drink that, and when you yeah. uh, when you receive the positive assessment, yep. uh, share a glass and, yeah. and congratulations, and I wish you all the best uh, for uh, yeah your next steps. Thank okay, you very much. Thank yeah, you. brilliant. Thank you. Love you guys. Cheers.